Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune, you are watching Superfast N. I am Monisha and here are the top stories of the day. At a time when we expect protection from police officials, a shocking incident has come to light where a drunk police officer from Lekhapani mercilessly trashed a youth in Assam. The incident unfolded in Tinsukia's Lekhapani area. Following the incident, Assam DGP GP Singh instructed CP Guwahati and SP Tinsukia to place the police personnel under suspension. In a significant development, the name of an individual suspected to be involved in the granite blast in Jorhat district was not mentioned in the report filed by the National Investigation Agency. The suspect is none other than Dipankar Gogoi who was found dead under mysterious circumstances after four days of grilling in connection with the granite blast. In a tragic incident, a 25-year-old youth from Hajo who went missing from Amso in Nogao on Wednesday was found dead under mysterious circumstances on the Sapurmuk Kampur State Highway near the Titaimari Bridge on Thursday morning. The locals of the area first spotted the boy and immediately informed the police. In a significant breakthrough, Barpata police have arrested Rituparna Pathak, chairman of Shraddha Surabhi Nidhi Limited, on accusations of carrying out fraudulent activities within the organization. Customers of the financial firm reported that they had not received their monthly income scheme payments on time, contrary to the promises made by the organization. A horrifying incident came to light where a panchayat secretary was shot dead by unidentified miscreants in Assam's Bongaigao district on Wednesday. The terrifying incident occurred at Chipansila in Bongaigao. As per sources, the two miscreants came on a two-wheeler and opened fire at the panchayat secretary, leading to his untimely death. Assam DGP, GP Singh on Thursday advocated for higher restraint among police personnel as he directed the suspension of all involved in a recent case of assault on citizens in Guwahati's Basista. This comes after several youths were assaulted in Guwahati's Basista area on Monday night by police officials under the influence of alcohol. The Guwahati High Court criticized the Assam government and re relevant departments for failing to respond to a public interest litigation concerning water logging in Guwahati. Chief Justice Vijay Vishnoy and Justice Kardak Ete noted that despite being given a specific time, no response had been filed. Manita Pradhan, a professional mountaineer from Soreng, Sikkim, has successfully scaled North America's highest peak mountain Denali in Alaska, USA as part of her ambitious 7th summit project. Pradhan and her team began their ascent on June 23 at 11 a.m. and reached the summit at 10.50 p.m. the same day. As many as six people have been arrested in Meghalaya's West Garo Hills after a video went viral in which they were seen mercilessly flogging a woman. The police conducted a preliminary investigation, confirmed the viral video to be true and identified the perpetrators of the violence inflicted hapless victim in Lower Texrage village on Thursday. A 60-year-old man from Kerala tragically passed away after sustaining injuries when an upper berth seat fell on him in a train coach due to improper changing by another passenger. According to government railway police officials on Wednesday, the incident occurred on June 16 aboard the sleeper coach while the train was passing through Warangal district, Telangana. That's all the news we have for today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us for more news and updates. Stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.